electric mobility is the trending topic of 2019. So, the time is ripe for TBS to launch a production ready version of the Creon concept, isn't it? Welcome to Zigwheels, where we are refreshing our memories of TBS's electric scooter concept in the run up to the Auto Expo 2020. There's a lot more motoring action coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe to Zigwheels and also click that little bell icon to stay notified of when our next Expo video drops. The Creon was showcased hot on the heels of the launch of TVS's sporty 125cc scooter, the Entoc. And the design of the Creon was similarly as sporty, bearing a striking resemblance to the Italjet Dragster. Instead of using an underbone chassis, the Creon used an aluminium twin spar frame. And there's a good reason why TVS did that, as it allowed them to package the batteries between the two beams for better mass optimization. The electric motor had a max power rating of 16 PS and TVS claimed that the Creon could do the 0 to 60 kmph run in 5.1 seconds. To put things into perspective, that is quicker than the TVS Entoc 125 or even larger motorcycles such as the Suzuki Jixxer and the Honda Hornet. The dash was pretty similar to the console found on the Entoc but thanks to its partnership with Intel, it got a whole host of connected technologies on board. Will the Creon come to fruition? Uh, well, a couple of years ago, an electric version of the TVS Jupiter was spotted in Bangalore, but nothing has come of that so far. However, TVS has heavily invested in Ultraviolet Automotive, a Bangalore-based startup that is doing some really cutting-edge work in the field of electric two-wheelers. And we got a chance to check out that tech at the racetrack. So click that i button to check out our first ride review of the Ultraviolet F77. But coming back to TVS, we believe an electric scooter is expected from the brand in the near future. Will it be as radical and sporty as the Creon? Only time will tell. But we will have to wait a little longer than the Auto Expo 2020 to see something new from TVS. So, what do you think TVS should do with the Creon? Should they put it into production? Or does an electric version of the TVS Jupiter make more sense? Do let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Thank you for watching.